A new GTA 6 inspired trailer was just put out and fans seem to absolutely love it. The parent company of Rockstar Games have a new lawsuit on their hands as well as a Grand Theft Auto 6 rival getting a huge boost. We'll be talking about all that in this video today and a whole lot more. So one of the big trends that happened right as the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer came out was other games and other companies, industries, and entities making similar trailers with the very same theme of Grand Theft Auto 6, whether it be the background colors or whether it literally be making a parody of the actual trailer itself. And the latest company to do that is Hyundai, the car company. And they actually have a motorsports division and they created a trailer that looks absolutely amazing. I'll leave a link to the entire thing in the description, but it really is almost a like for like recreation, even down to the little details of some of the crazy social media things you see in the GTA 6 trailer and even their logo at the very end. It's just all very cool to see. So well done to the Hyundai marketing team. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Again, you guys can check that out in the description if you guys are interested. And it really does make me wonder if this trend is going to continue as Rockstar continues to put out more trailers for Grand Theft Auto 6. Are companies going to do this for trailer 2? Are they going to do this for the protagonist trailer? Maybe just for this first one because it was the one we were waiting so many years to get. But who knows, it's exciting to see what's going on here. Now something that's not so exciting, Rockstar Games' parent company and the publisher of Grand Theft Auto 6, Take-Two Interactive, they have filed a new lawsuit, a set of trademark disputes against another company, Remedy Entertainment, over the letter R. So essentially what happened here is Take-Two Interactive filed two trademark disputes against Remedy Entertainment back in May 2023, although we're just figuring out the details of that uh, over the last couple of days. Now, Remedy's logo, which looks like a stylized R that looks like it's been cut three times, was revealed back in April 2023, and it aimed to signify a new era for the Finland-based developer. But according to reports, Take-Two Interactive claims that Remedy Entertainment's new designs creates a likelihood of confusion on the part of the public, with Rockstar Games, creators of Grand Theft Auto, and Red Dead Redemption. And honestly, to me, this just feels a little bit silly. At the end of the day, it's simply a letter R, and it's not incorporating the star design, or even Rockstar Games' sort of signature color of that ye like yellowy orange and how they fill in the white of the star. It's not even utilizing the same font either. There's a lot of things that they could go after. I feel like if Rockstar Games and Take-Two Interactive are gonna play this game where they almost seemingly go after that letter, there's a lot of other companies that they could choose to go after as well. Now, there does seem to be a slight little update to this situation. And I guess internally, it's not as bad as what's been reported because Eurogamer actually received a statement from Remedy saying, there is nothing to see here. This was a discussion between our teams that was resolved entirely and amicably last year. Unfortunately, it took a little longer to complete than we had hoped due to some holiday scheduling. The legal filing was simply an initial formality and Remedy and Take-Two continue to work together in partnership. We're glad to see this was resolved as it quickly spread like wildfire across social media. And that is interesting because Remedy Entertainment are actually creating the remastered versions of Max Payne 1 and 2, which was published by Take-Two Interactive and developed by Rockstar Games. So talk about awkward, but it does seem as if all of this has been resolved. So once again, we can consider this good news. It doesn't seem like there's gonna be any conflict here or any issues. So if you're excited about the Max Payne 1 and 2 remakes and remasters, it looks like everything is still good to go. Uh, there's not gonna be any disruption due to Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive beefing over the word and letter R. Now, something that's also very interesting, it looks like a GTA 6 rival is getting a huge boost. So this is coming from the former president of Rockstar Games, Leslie Benzies, and his company Build a Rocket Boy, they announced just the other day that they have raised $110 million in a Series D 
round of funding. And this funding comes ahead of the much anticipated launch of the company's first title, an immersive open world platform. And we know that that game is going to be called Everywhere, which is supposed to be kind of a GTA 6 rival, at least part of it is. So I don't know all the details surrounding Everywhere, but I know it was pitched as a community-driven gaming platform where players could build their own world. And it kind of reminds me of something like Roblox, but then there's this game inside of the game called Mind's Eye, which is kind of a story-driven action adventure. And that's the part that looks very similarly to Grand Theft Auto and of course, GTA 6. So is it truly going to be a rival of Grand Theft Auto 6? I guess we don't really know because they're gonna be coming out at different times and I do feel like they're ultimately different stories and possibly even different genres of video games. But it is interesting that they are again, getting a huge injection of funds to make this sort of thing happen. And last but not least, something just kind of interesting I thought about, the official description of Grand Theft Auto 6 is welcome to Leonida. Grand Theft Auto 6 heads to the state of Leonida, home to the neon-soaked streets of Ice City and beyond in the biggest and most immersive evolution of the Grand Theft Auto series yet, coming 2025 to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. And if you think about it, it is probably the biggest since GTA San Andreas. So just going back to the 3D trilogy, Grand Theft Auto 3 had one city, Liberty City, GTA Vice City had one city that was Vice City, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was an entire state, the state of San Andreas. You had Los Santos, San Fierro, and Las Venturas. That was massive at the time. And then if we look at the HD era, Grand Theft Auto 4, one city, Liberty City. GTA 5, one city, Los Santos. And now with GTA 6, we're getting the entire state of Leonida. So this really is going to be the biggest, most immersive evolution. And if you just look back at what Rockstar has done, the games themselves just kind of prove it. We went from cities to one whole state, and that's what we're getting in GTA 6. And because Rockstar doesn't do everything like for like, the state of Leonida, yes, even though I think majority that's gonna be a parody of Florida, that might also combine elements of other states that it borders, like Georgia and Alabama, and possibly even some of the islands that are relatively close by, whether it be the Caribbean, the Keys, etc. But anyways, that is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy, and of course, let me know what you think about everything we discussed in this one and those comments down below i'd love to hear from you guys down there and of course you can reach out to me on my facebook page where as always you can send messages photos videos and a whole lot more if you guys did go to enjoy this video though a like rating would of course be awesome and be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new you want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.